Once upon a time, the Bodhisattva was born as a quail. He grew in a shell, and then, when the time was right, he pecked his way out and emerged. He grew to be quite big for a quail, actually. He was as big as a boar. And his parents used to come and bring him food so that he could grow well. But he still wasn't strong. He couldn't walk and he couldn't fly. So every day he just used to wait for his parents to bring his food and was happy in his tree just listening to the other birds and being part of the surroundings. Now, unfortunately, in that forest where his tree was, there used to be a lot of forest fires. And every year fire used to devastate all the trees around and the birds just used to have to flap and squawk and fly away and escape. So although he lived very happily, one day a forest fire did come near his tree and all the birds did flap and squawk and fly away. And unfortunately for the quail, so did his parents. His mother and his father became so frightened they just flew off and left him. So there he was in the nest, all on his own. And he looked around and he saw the fire coming and he realised there was nothing really he could do. Because he couldn't yet walk and he couldn't yet fly. All he could do was just sit in his nest. So he reflected to himself as he saw the fire coming and he thought, I've been abandoned by my parents. I'm completely alone in the world. What truth can I find? What is there that is really true? And he thought about it deeply. And then he realised, truth is true. There are beings called Buddhas in the world and they can practice meditation and find themselves free in their mind. They can be compassionate. They're just. They're kind to other beings. That's what's true. That's what's really true. Those, those qualities like good behaviour, love and kindness, wisdom, those are the real truths and they're the only ones I really know because I'm just a little quail in a nest and I can't know anything else. So what shall I do in my current situation? The only thing I can do is make a statement of truth. Now in ancient India, and I think all the animals knew this too, if you said something that was true, the universe listened. And so occasionally people performed great feats simply by stating what was true. And by the miracle of this quality of simple, straightforward truthfulness, what they wanted would happen. So the quail thinks to himself and he says, right, I'm going to make this statement of truth because I do know it is. It is right, it is true. There is compassion. There is justice, there is meditation, there is good behaviour. By these truths, I make this statement of truth, that there is Dhamma, there is teaching in the world. There is a way to the end of suffering. And as he said this, he looked around and quite miraculously, it was as if the fire understood what he was saying. It stopped in its tracks. And instead of devouring the forest, it was as if a torch had been plunged into a pool of water. The fire in that area just disappeared. This became so famous throughout the whole of India that after that it was known as the truth of the quail. And it's said that in that part of the forest there can never be a fire because the, the statement of what was right and what was true by one small bird who was stuck in his nest without his mother and his father could have so much power. 
So this is a lifetime when the Bodhisattva was perfecting truthfulness and truth. And it's said that if you say a true thing, the world does listen. So we remember the quail and remember the power of truthfulness in our lives and perhaps in our meditation too. <laughs>